Hi, this is Edwin from CatNotes. Now that Revit 2023 already released, I'm going to start reviewing the new features. In this first uh, video, I'm going to review about the adaptive propagation for rebar. So what does it do? Uh, we have here uh, rebar, rebar set in this column and uh, beam. I can copy the rebar from this host to another host and uh, the rebar uh, will adjust to the new host size and length. For example, this one is uh, smaller and we have a smaller uh, column here also. I can select the rebar. So I'll filter this. Now I have the option to propagate rebar. I can use the align by host. So when it asks for the destination host, uh, I can just select this area. So let me just uh, pick a smaller area. Now you can see that uh, it will adjust to this um, host size and also adjust to the host height. Okay, let's finish this. And let's try it with the framing. So uh, we can see that here the uh, beam doesn't have the same direction as this beam. It's going to that uh, to north, and this one uh, also has the different length and different size. I can use the propagate rebar again, use a line by host, and I can select all these elements. See that uh, it recognizes the framing element and will exclude the other element like uh, column or stairs. Like this one, they have stairs. It will recognize only beam. Now I can click finish. So it's we can create a rebar very fast with these new features. So let's see about the the rebar detailing for face. I can copy this rebar if the direction is the same like this, uh, or I can use propagate rebar and align my face like this one, this one, this one. But when we are going to this direction, we cannot use copy. We need to use the propagate line by face. So here I can use this as my destination. And also here, here. Okay, so you can see that it will automatically align the rebar to that face you select. Okay. Uh, that's all for the adaptive propagation for rebar. I hope you enjoy the video. I uh, would appreciate if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.